There is a Christina Rossetti poem that's one of my favorites. Christmas hath darkness brighter than the blazing noon. Christmas hath a chillness warmer than the heat of June. Christmas hath a beauty lovelier than the world can show. For Christmas bringeth Jesus brought for us so low. Earth, strike up your music, birds that sing and bells that ring. Heaven hath answering music for all angels soon to sing. Earth, put on your whitest bridal robe of spotless snow, for Christmas bringeth Jesus, brought for us so low. It's not often that we speak of Christmas having darkness, but my friends, it has been a dark season, and yes, a dark year. We have been brought low by grief and by loneliness and by fear. We have spent 10 months in the season of Advent, waiting, waiting for a reprieve from the pandemic, waiting for a vaccine, waiting to connect in person with each other again. In past years, we've heard each other lament how the holidays are too frenetic, from gift giving to travel to entertaining and to whatever else. Some years we felt as though we were losing touch with the reason for the season, as we sometimes say. Worship was hurriedly penciled on the, on the schedule, offered with only the briefest pause. How many of us have said something like, I wish it wasn't so chaotic, or if we could just pause for just a moment, we would whatever. Well, 2020, the great pause came we were forced to shelter at home, to teach from home, to work from home, and yes, to worship from home. The pause was forced, yet here it is nonetheless. And when we think back to another time of turmoil and uncertainty, we see Mary and Joseph. They waited too. The world will start to turn again, and when it does, let's remember this pause this season, to receive the hoped-for promise of Jesus Christ. Because while it's true that the year has brought us to our knees in grief and in fear, loneliness, physical distancing, added stress, it's also true that we have been brought to our knees in prayer, saying, thank you, God, for a small blessing, for the healing of a sick friend or a family member. We've also said, bless and protect our frontline workers, O oh God. No matter the circumstance or era, there is in Jesus Christ the truth that God has become one of us. Embracing humanity and this profound gift leads us to proclaim that because of the incarnation, we have a peace which passes all understanding. There has been a pause and there has been a dark time and yet there are abundant signs to keep hope alive. We have discovered new ways to connect. Vaccines are arriving right now, and God's mercies are new every morning. My prayer is that we, the people of God, called to be the Episcopal Diocese of Maine, scattered in every county of our state, that we will embrace the pause, join together in our prayers, and proclaim the glad news of our Savior's birth. In doing so, we shall be renewed and formed for mission. And now may Jesus Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with the sweetness of inward joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. A happy and holy nativity to you all. Merry Christmas.